dollars. Uh, just wanted to do, since I am going back into my pinball machine, the high speed, uh, yeah, uh, I know, uh, high speed, uh, how long have I been doing the tinkering on it? Uh, too long. <laughs> I've not only got people bugging me about when is it going to be done, but I've also got people that uh, say they're as soon as I get it done they're gonna come down and play it which is like ah. <laughs> I hope I uh, get everything working then um, which being my first pin and first overhaul um, I didn't really have to do a re overhaul on my first pin, but I'm one of these people that, uh, uh, <laughs> that, uh, when I do something, uh, especially when I'm thinking about uh, doing this as a business instead of a hobby, uh, right now it is a hobby, but, uh, when I do actually go to make it into a business, which someday I hope I'm hoping to have it as a business. Uh, I want to do everything f from tearing it completely down to the bare stub to uh, re to building it back up again to fully working. Uh, so that's the reason I did an overhaul, even though most people told me, well, just get it, just get it working. And I've got a lot of that, and I've, uh, a lot of that from the local people here. Just get it working and don't worry about the small stuff. Um, so to that, everybody's different. Uh, I could have, I think... If I do get another pinball machine, I will uh, just get it working because uh, doing an overhaul is quite a lot of uh, work uh, and I don't know how Game Room Collectibles does it, but uh, they do several overhauls. Uh, uh, they don't do overhauls on all the pins, but most of the time they do they do overhauls because a lot of the boards are shot, uh, connectors are shot, uh, so, <laughs> yeah, I know, I know they must be, I don't know how they keep their sanity, uh, because it certainly is, uh, quite, uh, It certainly is maddening at times, so let me get to the heart of the pinball machine here, which I've got all the boards that I took from the garage, they're in here now. I just wanted to do a video on doing the front and back, uh, which would be uh, the main part of the any pinball is the boards to make it work. Of course, if it's a solid state, that is, uh, if it's electromechanical or even pre-war, uh, they'll have a bunch of relays. But uh, anyways, I'm not going to get into the old EM stuff. I'm just getting into this uh, solid state stuff. So let's get to it. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show the solder side and the uh, component side uh, of the of all of the boards that are in my Williams. Uh, what I am wanting people to do is tell me uh, if I should throw the board away and just get a new one or if I should rebuild it. Uh, what I'm thinking is I'm going to rebuild all the boards, uh, at least the uh, caps on the boards because these 
looking at the condition of the high-speed pan, uh, it looked like it was on location in an arcade or amusement place, and so uh, what it looked like is uh, they just set it there and let people play it and just did minimal work on it uh, because it, everything was had a if I if I was making a let's just put it this way if I was making a mud pie I, the stuff the dirt from inside the cab and on the boards would, would be the frosting it was that bad uh, so I, everything is cleaned up is probably as best as it could can be um, I just used uh, soap and water on the boards so uh, so yeah let's get stop me stop yakking and get into this on the power supply uh, it looked like uh, it was starting to burn up the uh, back of the board here because I'll show it to you um, And I think it's the transistor. These these two here uh, got super hot, and they were beginning to uh, get crispy on the back here, because uh, no amount of uh, cleaning got that. Uh, black stuff off the board so I'm thinking it got it's it started to get cr crispy uh, when I took the everything all the boards out it did work um, and it looks like some clod hopper hat put a thing of solder here and so I probably have to get some needle nose pliers and uh, get that off but the rest of it looks pretty good uh, didn't notice anything really burnt uh, overall I think the all the boards are in pretty good shape uh, the, there is one thing that worries me is that the the Molex connector here there's uh, uh, at least one of the wires on, on this far end here is a little bit black blackened and uh, so I'm kind of worried about that if I may want to change the connector I don't know if I have to or not or if it was already changed uh, well like I said on this side I'm gonna do all of the uh, caps because these are not the I'm sure these are all original caps on here and do the bridge rect rectifier Well, and of course, I'll uh, double check the fuses. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any slow blow fuses. Uh, and some of these look like they're automotive. Uh, automotive. Uh, uh, fuses like this middle one it looks kind of odd uh, I think it should look more like this uh, this one down here uh, although I'm not 100% sure uh, I'm sure somebody will uh, correct me if I'm wrong so And 
I believe this one is the driver solenoid driver I think but again I'm not totally 100% sure Well, and I'm not sure, but these three pins have a glob of solder on all three of the pins, which I don't know if it, that matters or not, but I may actually uh, take some of that off. Uh, well, it's kind of on two pins and kind of into the third. Uh, I don't know if that really matters. I mean, it didn't it didn't blow up when it was in the machine so it might be okay like that uh, but overall most of the uh, boards look in fair shape so and of course I'm gonna change the cap on here Around the sound board, uh, I'm, I believe it has re revision two on it, which I think uh, the last revision was uh, revision four, I think, which I don't have that. Uh, or I don't know, it says U four on here. Uh, let's see here. Actually, it looks like it, ha it says RB. I don't know what that is, but it says one. I don't know. In any case, it probably needs to have the latest revision on there, which I don't know if I'll uh, bother with or not. Uh, I just want to. I do want to get this go up and going. But uh, here's the front. And the back on this is really in nice shape. Or it is at least in my mind anyways. But uh, at least there's not any major traces or anything majorly burned out on any of these. Here's the score display uh, board. Well, and there's they've got two on the J6 and J7, which is player four and player three. I don't know if the connectors were uh, changed or if it was like that to begin with, uh, because uh, all the others are a black and and silver, and this is a black with uh, gold. So, I'm not sure if that was like that from the factory or if uh it was a ch if it was burned out up in uh and somebody changed it. Uh although on the back of this it doesn't show any burnt uh burning, so I'm thinking it might be factory uh from the factory like that. Yeah, 
then of course the main CPU complete with coil sleeves I didn't know coil sleeves went on uh, CPUs but uh, yeah this is a uh, this one I think I cleaned up cleaned up coil sleeve and this one is pretty much a throwaway uh, don't think any amount of cleaning is going to really get this clean although I I'm probably going to throw away both of these because I do have coil sleeves, uh, new coil sleeves. So I'm probably not going to use these. So, yeah. And here's where you can grade me on how well I took out the battery holder. Uh, I took it out because it had the usual battery uh, alkaline corrosion on it. Uh, so I, when I took the battery holder out, I uh, did uh, the vinegar on, on this. So here's the battery, where the battery holder would have gone. Uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to uh, replace the battery holder and then I'm going to solder on a remote battery holder. Um, although I may or may not do that since uh, GRC said that it doesn't really matter where you put it in the back in the back box it's still going to ruin stuff uh, unless you have some find some way of putting it way out of the uh, back box and put it uh, somewhere outside of the uh, back box but that would look kind of ugly uh, but uh, here's the main CPU and I'm thinking one of these um, I have to look in the manual I do have the manual but I have to look at it and see uh, one of these transistors might be out or not working right because uh, when I uh, before I took this apart uh, um, the left and right uh, kickers for the ramp to kick the ball out uh, didn't work wasn't working anymore and there's another lesson for you if you're doing an overhaul for the first time is I heard that you want to get everything working before you tear everything apart so when you get put it back together uh, you know that it was uh, working correctly uh, which I unfortunately I didn't do that so it's going to uh, I'm going to have more work to do uh, but oh well that's a new newbie fail on my part but uh, But here's the two chi sound chips. Uh, it says re revision two, so that's why I said that it's uh, they will need to be <clears throat> done with the. I believe it's revision four is the last one that came out for this, and. There we go. That's better. And I was going to do a super up close of the solder. Uh, what I did used is, uh, of course, the pencil soldering iron. I think it was like a 40 watt. 
and I used a solder sucker which it's just a thing you uh, you I can get it but it's you just plunge it down and then there's a little button on it that you press and it it sucks the it does a quick suck on the where you have put the uh, pencil uh, side to but yeah I don't think I pulled up any traces but because I am careful about that kind of thing because I don't want to uh, do that Here's the uh, solder side. So I think I did a good job of desoldering the battery holder here. Uh, you can tell me otherwise. And there is another area on the uh, on the mother motherboard CPU whatever uh, that uh, looks kind of uh, I don't know if I can show it good enough. Uh, there we go. I don't know if this is supposed to be like that but uh, there is some black blackness in this area uh, there is no no traces or anything up but I'm thinking that it might have gotten it it got kind of hot in this area uh, because there is some discoloration but it might be just uh, the usual how they usually look uh, but overall it's not that bad look of a looking board uh, and when I had somebody looking at the uh, at this I thought somebody just uh, accidentally hit it with a soldering iron but somebody the one that looked at it said that it looked like it was melted from the uh what is it a relay i think or something i don't know but it's got uh it's got melted on the corner here and up here So, I don't know if I need to replace this or not. So, so but that's the reason I'm doing this, is uh, to get your guys' opinions on what I should uh, do on the on this uh, I do want to use I mean looking at these they don't look terrible uh, they did work everything did work except for those uh, well there was the uh, oh probably three things that didn't work which uh, was the two left and right kickers were uh, kicking it was just doing a clicking noise uh, and then the far left kick uh, to save the ball wasn't working so um, overall these boards I think are in really good shape uh, comparing them to what game room co collectibles uh, encounters with their a lot of their pins that they get in 
that are blown up and traces are screwed up and clod hoppers have uh, done a trace from over here to over there and it just looks horrible and probably will blow up even more things or cause a fire I don't I don't like having uh, uh, wire wiring going to a good in places on on the back of the boards here that I've seen uh, other boards so I think I even for a auction pin uh, I have to say that the boards are in very good shape for that and even the play field on the uh, high speed is in good shape I mean it had I had to touch it up there was a couple places where it was uh, bare wood and there's uh, specks here and there that are that you that need to be touched up but uh, I've seen pl uh, high speed play fields that look like somebody's taking a uh, th thing of sandpaper and just gone crazy with the sandpaper uh, and what that is is uh, somebody neglected to even keep it up and uh, it's uh, super dirty so the ball picked up all that dirt and just wore away the play field and that's why you want to keep your play field and look at your uh, balls just to make sure there's no pitting or rust on the balls because they will uh, pit and even rust some uh, the original balls that I had in this they were starting to rust uh, they but other than that they were in fairly good shape but uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, fairly long video but uh, but yeah, I hope you can help me because I do want to get this uh, going back. I want to get this going again, so I want to know what parts I need on these boards to rebuild them. Of course, I'll probably do the caps on here because uh, they're probably oh, almost 30 years old now, so... So, till next time, later, everybody.